difficulties on the family altar because we have family and the devil has no way. So let us remain unstoppable, unshakable, unbreakable because together as a family. When, when we talk about a family altar, we're talking about the structure. Yeah. The structure was, that was fragmented and that was attacked by the enemy from the way go. Yeah. So normally we say um, this is where humanity meets divinity. Yes, sister. Whether you are black, white, mixed up, or any other race, sir. But you, like me, we are fighting generational curses under family altar. Greetings, viewers at home. Your host, Mpo Malate, again on your screen. Check your time. It is family altar time where humanity meets divinity, where the natural partner with the supernatural. Wow, wow. It is that moment again where we visit your home. I know we are all coming from church, at least um, we are still allowed to gather. And, and as you are relaxing and trying to process, the message is today. Maybe it is time again to revisit your altar as a family. Um, um, from time to time, we're dealing with some of the serious um, challenges. And one of those challenges, it is what is trending right now, which is gender-based violence. I tried by so many means to, 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 to try and understand and unpack this nicely. Um, because somehow I feel as if maybe we were supposed to say, you know, I mean, I mean violence against humanity. But this is what it is called. And, and having said that, when you open the news, you, you read the papers, you know, you know, from time to time, women are being abused, killed. Um, 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 children are being molested, you know, also killed. And, 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 but we don't know much, uh, we don't hear much about men. I don't know whether, you know, men um, um, are hiding, but they suppose now um, they are regarded as one of the perpetrators, the people who have decided to become monsters. Um, 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 they are just deciding to kill and destroy humanity. I don't know why, but, but I believe that God will lead us today as we come and try our level best to understand where we are by people who had first-hand experience of this GBV. Um, um, we had the other day Mamsi who came and, 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 and unpacked her story. And, and today we have another guest who will be joining me very soon uh, by the name of Palis Amohoka who will come also to unpack this nicely. But listen to me and listen to me very well. We were all born for a reason and purpose. We can never compromise the purpose of our existence. If you happen to find yourself in a, in a compromised space where your safety is compromised, your, your life is in danger, there is nothing really you facilitate so I can say. You have a choice. We live by the choices that we make every day, Mapilong Aron. And by so saying, I'm trying to encourage you, especially Lona Basoka Mbawoka, this journey, people who never ascended, you know, you know uh, I, mean, I mean, this marriage altar where they give their lives to someone. Do your thorough check, you know, you know sit down and ask relevant questions. Marriage is not only, you know, out of love. There must be some certain facts that will be relevant and sensible before you say, I do. And, and having said that, we know that a lot of people that are dealing with pain, pain that they never had a chance to get an audience who will, who will listen to them and try to understand why they are hating. So I am advising you, there is more that you need to achieve. There, there, there is more that you need to pursue in life 
than to settle for less. And, and when we look at the states from time to time, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean women are in pain. But the biggest challenge is that uh, there are people who go out of the way to, to come up with the shelters for them. But they leave the perpetrators at home. We know now that prison never helped anyone. Um, um, if we send them to prison, it will never fix them. People need to be fixed from within. And I know for sure that only God can do that. If a man is broken, if a soul is broken, we must take it back to the master. And, 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 and our guest today, by the name of Palisa Mohoka, um, she did went through all this, but stay tuned there and, and listen to her when she come and unpack this verbatim. But, 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 but I thank God because um, she was never broken to that level where she gave up on life. She's, she's, she's an owner of NK Home Deco. And also, she's also on HIP 97.7, uh, hosting the business lunch show weekly. So now, Palisa will talk to us about the abuse she experienced in her marriage. And I know that you might be sitting there experiencing the same things that she'll be unpacking today. And you decided to keep quiet. I believe for a fact that one of the best way to resolve issues, one of the best way to deal with the matters is to approach another angle that is called conscious uncoupling. If whatever that you guys started is no longer working, I mean, give way. I mean, I mean, give each other a fair chance. You don't have to hate each other. You don't have to fight each other. You don't have to kill each other. I mean, I mean, I mean, go back home. Go and start afresh. Um, 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 you know, you know, and, 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 and whatever that you might think that we invested. Look, money will never define life. We were given the grace to create wealth. But you don't have to kill each other. I'm, I'm pleading with you. I know during this festive season again, it will be story after story. Children will be left unattended because people will be going out to party. And then, I mean, I mean a lot of things will come. But I'm sitting here as the man of God and I say, enough is enough. I declare and I also decree that after this session, after this program, do revisit the structure of your family. Look back where you come from. There is no room for pretense. There is no room to fake things. Address and into the way the link at the Chabasahe. So family, you are sitting there, you know of someone who's going through challenges like this. Don't keep quiet. Try to identify the root cause of the problem. I know that places like media, we are so obsessed by symptoms, but we never address the root cause. There, might, there must be the root cause of all this. And if we can silence this thing from the roots, now the world will be the better place. How I wish that our children, the next generation, we, they don't have to encounter the things that we, we tolerated for so long. I, I pray, I pray and, 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 and believe God that the next generation will show us the real picture of what marriage is all about. Remember, marriage is nothing but partnership. And it takes two people to contribute equally. The other one, is a seed carrier, and the other one is an incubator. So whatever that you have, a concept, the plan, give it to the incubator. Let them build it up for you. So, so, so you need someone who will add value into your life. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that we watch too much TV. You know, you know we watch too much the stories that come out of social media. 
But those things will never build you up. Face the truth. For the Bible says, you shall know the truth. And the truth that you know, before, before it can help you, it must first hurt you. And after it, had, it has money to hurt you, it shall surely set you free. Family, as you are sitting down, stay tuned. We are about to unpack some of the things that will revive your own marriage, your own family. So as you are sitting down there waiting for us, may the good God bless you. And invite your neighbor, invite your cousin, invite, invite, invite whoever that you know that might benefit from this program. Remember, this is only the place where humanity meets divinity. It is not another story. It is not another show. But this is where we, we deal with the root cause of the problems. And honesty and the truth remains the order of the day. So as you are sitting there, waiting, stay tuned as we are coming back. Your host, Mpo Maladze, coming back. Stay blessed. <laughs>